Yes, it's for the EPW Catch title. If we can have the music for the challenger, please.
And here we go with this catchweight EBW title match. The defending champion, the Man Mountain, Mikey Van Raya versus Solid Scott Rogue. And as we start into the match, Mikey takes the lead, but Scott Rogue with a lovely bit of athleticism takes Mikey and he takes him down to the headlock. And uh, we've been looking for this match for quite some time, Joe. We, we? we have. Scott Rogue, out of all the people that Mikey have possibly faced for this title, he could be the one challenge, that yeah. absolutely could take it off him. We could take it off him and a lovely headlock here. Like the legs spread, a lovely balance. Very technical, Scott Rowe. He is, he's very technical. Very athletic as well. And Mikey being controlled at the moment, and it's rare that we see this. Mikey's such a big guy. You call him the man mountain of me. He is the man mountain of me. And again, as you see Mikey push him off, Scott straight back into that headlock again, the side headlock. Hill looks like looking to distract him while he takes him down now, the headlock takedown. The Hill, the third member of this match. Always the third member of the match, whoever is with him. He's <laughs> yeah. always distracting the referee. Plus one to everybody who continues to ring. Absolutely. And the ref, if Mikey's not careful, the ref will count his shoulders down for the mat. For the three, you see Mikey's shoulder looks to be up at the moment as they make their way back to the feet. And now, Mikey going to try and throw him. Oh, and again, straight back. Straight to that side. Of the look. And that's what I was talking about earlier on. The ref will make the count if Mikey's shoulders are down firmly on the mat. So Mike has to be careful here. A cheap little look on Scott's face there. And he's got this match under control so far. And it's rare. We normally see in the last match with Sam, Sam Goodison, Mikey defended. Mikey you know, dominated the majority of their match. And uh, Scott is firmly in control here right now. That's why I don't know. He cheated his way out of the match, by the way. He did cheat his way out of the match in the uh, controversy swang that last match. Well, let's hope this match isn't the same. The Ducks under two. And a lovely mm. crossbody now. One, two, and a kick out. And Mikey. Bench pressed him out of the ring. Now. Absolutely. Bench pressed him outside, out of the ring. Scott now in for the. Uh, oh, and Earl's grabbing him. Oh, he couldn't oh. grab him to sunset flip. One, two, and a kick out again by Mikey. And Scott looking firmly in control here. Dropped hold. I love the dropped hold. Into the ankle lock. Linked. Linked to the ankle lock. And Mikey will grab the ropes here. And the Earl is making sure as well. As we spoke quite earlier, the Earl is always on hand to, uh, to help his clients out. He's the, he's the third man in this equation. He is. It's a good thing to have, really, though, isn't it? When you champ. Absolutely. As Scott Rogue fires off with some solid European uppercuts now. And Mikey grabbing the ref in front of us. Scott's going for some. Oh! <laughs> And the Earl, and you can hear from the crowd, they're not very happy with the Earl's interference. Could be a chase. And Scott Rogue, they come chasing us, they're right outside us now. He's chasing him around the ring. And Scott, the Earl's just too quick, like a rat. Up like, a drone fight. Just too quick, as Mikey now. Oh, and now Scott went for the, uh, well, Mikey hit him with a, a knee. And then... Boom, big forearm by the Man Mountain. Big forearm, and is he gonna bring, he's going to bring it back in the hard way now. Boom. And this is where Mikey, this is where we should see Mikey lead forward with, with his sort of offence that he likes to bring. Slow, methodical pace, wears down the opponent. With brute strength. Absolute brute strength. And we'll see him now, what's Mikey going to do here? <laughs> Playing jab to the face. Jab to the face there. And Dave Stewart, the referee, may have missed that one there. Because I think he's getting a little bit more leniency out to both competitors to make sure the match continues. Nobody wants to see this match in disqualification, especially not Solid Scott Rowe, who of course would not be taking the title in a disqualification situation. Big looks it's like strength. the strength of Mike Van right here brings him down. And Mikey now will take his time. A stiff forearm, well, elbow to the back there, and another one. And now, maybe we'll see Mikey. This is what he likes to do. We said we did this Sam Goodison. Is this going to be a backbreaker? Beautiful. He did the same to Sam last month. He likes to use that move of pushing him off there. Really, just a piece of meat. Treating, <laughs> treating <laughs> Scott Rowe, the, the challenger, as a piece of meat. And when you're the size of Mark, Mikey Van Raya, you can do that. You can do, you? absolutely, you can do what? It's like Godzilla in Japan. Absolutely. He did what he wanted because he was that size. No, I don't think Mike Van Rijn's ever been in Japan. In, well, in Japan, but I don't think he's seen the earlier look. And the ref can see him. The ref's going to tell him now. The ref's got to stop him from doing that. And Mike, yeah, he falls out front of us there. We are not happy. Enough time for him to break free. Spine buster. Huge spine Giant. buster. That's and got to, wounded him. 
Big time. And Scott is on the floor now, grounded again as Mikey, with the slow methodical pace that I spoke about earlier on. He's going to wear him down. Boom, big, big kick to it back. And now he's choking. Ref will give him a five. That's four, and he'll be off. And Mikey will... Mikey Benny. Oh, and as, as you can see, Earl. Earl choking Scott Rogue out with his cane in the corner as Mikey's distracting the referee, Dave Stewart. And the, oh, the, the nice little straw. <laughs> Shades of Ric Flair with that strut away. Confidence shining through with Mikey Van Ryan and the Earl tonight. Earl's got to think Mikey's got this in the bag. Nearly flipped him with a suplex there. He nearly flipped back onto his feet. The power of Mikey Van Ryan. That's the same power that you spoke about earlier on, Jake. That's right. Just intense power. Just nearly made the dude like, do a flip. From a suplex, of From course. From a suplex, yeah. And now he's going to take him back for this bear rug. Back on that back. And he's going to be wearing him down. And Scott, Scott's face, you can see with the anguish on his face. As Mikey wears him down now. And the ref's going to have to ask Scott in a minute. Is the ref going to, he's going to ask him? And I believe Scott said no. Oh, and he's biting him now. Oh, and Scott doing what he has to do to get out of that hold. Survival mode, maybe, for Solid Scott Rogue at the moment. It's looking like it. As Mikey straight back to the offence again. To the corner in front of us here. Whips into the corner. Nice leap for over by Scott Rogue. And a oh, double shoulder block. And remember, that, that same thing happened last month. Against Sam Goodison, Mikey hit the shoulder block and injured himself, or at least we believed he was injured. They both went down, that was an awkward landing. And of course, Mikey ran behind him and rolled him up at the end. We thought he was injured. I, was, I stood up from the table, good help him. I was going to help Mikey up, I was generally. And now the Earl will sweep Scott's leg. Anything to stop him getting up at that 10 count. We have to give him until 10 now, and Mikey back on his feet. Scott's back on his feet. Stiff right by Mikey. And left by Scott. Uh, right, sorry, uh, right by Mikey again. Exchanging here. To, to his knees there. And a big right hand. Takes Scott to his knees. And Scott firing up now on Mikey. That's two, three big strikes here. What's he going to do? Off the ropes. Tries a clothesline. He'll have to try more than that, I think, for the yeah, big man. A lot more than that. Tries again. Maybe, maybe a third, maybe a third, Scott. A jumping worry at that time. Takes the big man down to his... Down to his whoa, that's it. He's back up again. He dropped it now. Knocks him on his back. Getting some momentum behind him now. And Scott now. Looks Mike into the turnbuckle. Because he's going to slam in. A huge slam. And Scott Rowe now. He's got to be covered. One, two. Kick out by Mikey on right. And I thought we may see a new catch champion then, Jay. Picked him up like it was a note. He picked him up. That was his strength. <laughs> he's not just technical. He's calling for it now. Maybe that solid super kick. And now maybe Scott. He's finished people with this before. He calls this a solid super kick. Mikey does not know where he is. Box out of the way though. And a drop towel straight back into the ankle again, just like we saw him at the beginning of the match. And now Mikey could tap, he's not near those ropes at all. Although the Earl is pushing them towards Mikey, not doing much there. And he drags him back into the ring. Great line. He locked it. And it could be over now, it could be over. He cinched in, the Earl's on the, on the apron, as we've seen in many of his clients' matches, when it looks like it's over. The, and Mikey's tapping. Mikey Van Wright is tapping. Over. Scott has won. Surely Scott's won this match, but the ref hasn't seen anything. And the Earl. And Scott's up now. He's let go. Mikey tapped. Scott thinks he's won. Does he think he's won? He's inviting him in the ring. Oh. oh and, and the Og. I had the pleasure of getting that, getting hit like that out by Andy Ogg in the Invitational last month that we were both in. Yeah, exactly. And both unceremoniously dumped out of it. Exactly. You must teach that move to people. Absolutely. Well, he hit me with that one. I think the record was 10, I believe, in that last battle royal as Mikey <laughs> gets the, the upper hand now. I remember Andy Ogg telling us in the corner, didn't he? <laughs> he and while did. he was beating Mikey down in the rumble. And back elbow by Scott now to the second rope. Oh, and look, oh Mikey catches him. him. Boom! Boom! It's over, one, two, oh, I thought it was over the Mikey's face, he thought it was over. Everybody thought it was over. And now Mikey's having, he's having words with the ref, Scott looks, oh, it's the solid skip, the solid it's super over, kick, surely. it's over surely. Scott has got to make this cover, the early's nowhere to be seen, the ref counts, one, two, Oh, oh! Not many people kick out of that. I've not it's seen anybody rare. kick out of that since since Scott's been using that move. And Mikey now, they've both kicked out of each other's finishes. 
He's got, what is he signaling for the German? Surely he's not the German, this big man. Never. Surely he's got all the ropes, Mikey. Oh, oh. the ref's gone down. Dave Stewart took a, what, what looked like a backhand from Mikey then. Um, has what's what's Mikey got in his hand? He's got some hurt. He's got his, is it his nightstick? He's got, no! Oh! Clobbers him and it's over. The ref didn't see it. It surely is. The ref's nah. one, two, three. It and Mikey is. Van Riot makes the win. He gets the win.